All right, welcome back to round two of the Bender Hockey Random Player Draft. If you didn't see the first episode, it's a fantastic tool, uh, fun little game, whatever you want to call it, developed by uh, fantastic YouTuber Man of the Red. Um, link will be in the description below if you want to mess around with this yourself. This has a bunch of different filters and everything. Um, you kind of show the different things. Uh, we need to add goalies in there and then we can randomize it'll give us three players and we uh we get to pick one so we have to draft a full team uh left wing center right wing defense i'm not splitting up left defense right defense that would take too long to look up um, and then we need two goalies if we've already drafted four left wingers and then all we can draft from the three random players is left wingers we can't take one we run into a situation where we need a goalie and we have all the forwards set up and uh, then three forwards come up we have to substitute in an AHL um, an AHL goalie so if you want to see how the first one went make sure you click the card that just popped up in the top corner but let's jump into this one and see how we do so we're going to start off with the first random right here Drake Batherson, Zach Benson, and Niels Hoglander. Bunch of good young players. Uh, Benson's probably too low to start. Uh, I think left fingers might be a little more difficult, so we're going to grab Hoglander right off of the bat. He is our number one pick. Number two, Boisois, Lindgren, and Zadorov. I know you probably should grab a goalie, but I don't think either one of them are really going to make or break our series here. Um, and Zadorov is a massive defensive. So we're going to go Zadorov too. That might be a mistake, but we're going to take Zadorov too. Uh, and do, 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 do we want Nieto or Bogosian? Because I don't know who Lixell is. Um... Let's take Bogosian. Team isn't looking as good as the last one. Bouchard, Jones, and Entwistle. We are apparently just collecting defensemen because we're going to take Bouchard. I know he's having a fantastic year. I don't know what his NHL overall is, though. Uh, oh, my God. I Like, I got to take Riley, don't I? I am uh, a bit of a Leafs homer, but... That's four defensemen already, and we don't we have one forward, so we're done with taking those. Uh, Austin Watson, Mason Appleton. Uh, we're gonna take Appleton. The sixth. Tolvanen, Dakota Joshua, Nick Robertson. Love Nick Robertson. Not good enough um, in the game. He's really starting to pick it up lately, but we'll take Tolvin in. Uh, Patty Maroon, Seth Jones, Brendan Gauntz. Like, Jones is probably a really good overall, isn't he? It's a weird strategy, but let's take, let's take Jones. <laughs> I think we're going to screw ourselves, but uh, Tarasenko. Returning. Tarasenko was great for us last time. So we'll grab him with the ninth pick. Uh, let's take Blackwood. I think he's the better out of the San Jose goalies. So we have one goalie, and then we get Josh Morrissey. Um... I don't really want to lock up that last position. Josh Morrissey is definitely the best option here. But let's... I don't think Steven Lorenz is better than Nick Delorier. Let's take Lorenz. Local to where I'm from. Good old Steven Lorenz. Justin Hall. Jake and Gibson. 
I'm not taking Justin Hall. And uh, I think Gibson's got multiple beat. Nizov, Struble, or Lucas Reichel. What is happening? Why is this team so much worse than the last one? <laughs> I guess we got really lucky. Um, so two rookie defensemen and Lucas Reichel. Uh, I think a rookie left winger is the better. Reichel. Uh, and that is pick 13 of the draft. Dustin Wolf. We're taking Smith. Let's take and I believe let's Craig. Um, it's weird seeing him on Dallas because I'm used to him out Nashville, but let's take Craig Smith. So we need a defenseman, two left wingers, a center, and two right wingers. Uh, are we taking Hmm We got one of each here. I think we take Kako. Right? Don't really have a top line left winger, but I don't think Fogel's that guy. Let's take Kako. If I can spell on my paper here. And that's why. I'd love Brent Burns, but we're taking Caprizov. Imagine getting Caprizov with like the 16th pick. That's pretty nuts. Um, so one D, one left wing, one center, and one right wing. Uh, I think Kuznetsov is going to be our... It's definitely... I don't think, actually. Kuznetsov is definitely going to be our number one. Uh, first line right now is looking like Kaprizov, Kuznetsov, and Tarasenko. We got Corey Perry. Perry or Dadanov? Um, I need to take Perry. Dad enough might be the better one, but I can take Perry. Yikes. This is where it hurts. Because, man, I would love either Phil Deneau or Sergei Bobrovsky. But I got to take Crookshank. Crook Shank. And that's with pick 19. So we need a defenseman. Imagine passing up on all those defensemen and then not getting one. But we got good Branson. Branson with the 20th pick. All right. So that is this side of it. Let me put the team together. I will say, no AHL players. That's pretty impressive. Um, I'm going to put this team together. We'll jump over into the NHL side of things and see how it looks, and then we'll run through a season. So we'll see you in one sec. All right, so the team is made. Let's spin to see which team we are taking out. So we are going to take out the Detroit Red Wings. So let's come into here. We'll grab... The Red Wings, you're going to substitute a team, custom teams, the Baltic Sea Benders are back, but we changed, we're now a burger. Uh, so this team is 88 overall, last team was 92, not nearly as good, um, there were some, definitely some players that uh, I thought were going to be better, that weren't. But um, there were uh, there were some players that were also like I thought uh, Bouchard might not be as good, but guess what? Bouchard's great, so don't worry about Bouchard. So let's head into it here. Um, no, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we'll go back in. Superstar, twenty minutes, injuries off in the Atlantic Division. So we'll generate this league. Um, yeah, I think like we're going to be okay. Our center depth is not great. Not great at all. So let's get this team set up. Um, go away, head coach. As I said, that was our first line. I thought Kuznetsov would be a lot better. I get that he's had a rough year. So maybe that's why he's down. But 
Uh, second line, we've got Tolvanen has to be a... Well, these two can just switch. Yeah, Tolvanen's technically a right winger, according to the thing. Hoglander's a left winger, so that's fine. Um, Smith is going to be our forward here. We want that to happen. Crookshank's not good. Angus. Uh, Reichel Lorenz Kako is not a great line, but it is what it is. Go to the defense. This is hopefully going to save us. Riley Bouchard, Jones Adorov, Gabranson Bogosian. And then we'll see how having two NHL goalies does Gibson and Blackwood. Should be interesting. Gibson's still a good, good overall. So that is the squad. We are going to be in the Atlantic Division this time, uh, which is going to be interesting. So let's go. We'll go up to Jan one, and we'll see where we're sitting. Um, hopefully, hopefully we do okay. Looks like we're off to a pretty good start. We'll see you January one. All right. So here we are. January 1st, 2024. Feels like forever ago. Uh, we're 18, 13, and 6. Uh, in the Atlantic, we're sitting 4th. Lightning, Leafs, Panthers. Just the way we all drew it up. Um, let's see where our team stats are at. Obviously, Kaprizov's leading the way. I don't think anybody's surprised there. Terzenko, that first line is doing great uh, with Riley. Feeding him the puck. Uh, any standouts? Kako is doing like pretty decent for the third line. Uh, our goal scoring is the first line, and then it falls off. That second line is not doing a ton. Uh, so that might be the issue. Crookshank, though, 11 points. Maybe going for rookie of the year. Our goalies, Gibson is uh, doing the majority of it. 15, 12, and 5. Blackwood's record's not terrible, but his stats are pretty bad. Um, do we have... Yeah, Crookshank is our rookie skater. If we go to the entire league, Connor Bedard's leading the rookie scoring, of course. Uh, Freddy's running away with that. Not surprising. Freddy's had a fantastic second half of the year, too. Uh, and is this our Kaprizov? This is our Kaprizov. So we have somebody in the running for the top points. So that's pretty cool. Marshan, Nylander, Patterson, and then our guy. So who knows? Maybe we could have uh, our first ever award winner. Because we definitely have not had that yet. Uh, so let's go up to the trade deadline here. And we will see where we're at. All right, so at the trade deadline, we're 31, 25, and 7. We are going to be fighting for our playoff lives. Look over to the Atlantic. We are currently three points out. Uh, we got a game in hand on the Panthers. But look at this. Remember at the beginning when it was Leafs, Lightning, Panthers? Now it's Leafs, Bruins, Sabres, who were both in the dumps to start the season. Uh, Lightning and Panthers have, are still sticking around, but that's like... There's six points between six or second and sixth right now, which is pretty crazy. Uh, to check on the stats, Kaprizov, Kaprizov, uh, 76 points. He's doing fantastic. Everything we've asked of him. Uh, f that first line is doing great. Uh, Tolvanen has really started to blossom on the second line. Almost 20 goals, so that's not too bad. Uh, that second line, you know, other than Riley, like there's our first defensive pair and the well. Bouchard's, I guess, the, the other point of that. Kako's doing okay. Um, Kubranson got a goal. That's pretty sick. Kirkshank got 10 goals on his rookie season. That's not bad. Uh, Bogosian is bringing up the rear, though. Uh, Goalies-wise, it looks right about the same. Uh, Blackwood's goals against average and save percentage are atrocious. Gibson's are manageable. And then if we look at the entire league, how's Kaprizov doing with his 76 points? He is falling off. He's still up in the top, like the first screen there, but Willie's Willie's running away with it. That's kind of cool. Willie and Marchand. And there's Matthews feeding. Look at that line. 80, 80, 
86. And Matthews has the uh, the goal scoring lead. And this is the, the real Kaprizov. Is scoring more goals than our Kaprizov. How dare he? Uh, okay, so let's jump up to the... What do we want to do? Because this is going to be quite a tight race. So let's jump... Um, let's go to the 1st of April. And we'll kind of see where we're sitting. Uh, I'll just keep you guys with me here. So we're losing, losing, winning, losing, winning. Come on, guys. We need to put some wins together. That was a good little stretch at the end there. So how many points are we out? Two points out. But we got the Panthers right there, too. Got a very important stretch. Uh, where's the Metro? So the Flyers have 82 points for that second wildcard spot. Uh, only team clinched to the Leafs. Oh, I didn't want to do that. But let's... Sure, let's take on Tampa. 4-2. Mr. Lorenz coming in. Look at that. And then we almost blow it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was way too close for comfort. Uh, okay, so that's another win. So that puts us at 83. The Flyers are at 84. Panthers are at 83 for that last wild card. So there's three teams tied for this last spot here. This is going to be pretty nuts. Uh, let's skip over that New York game W shootout win. Okay. Okay. This is a huge game. 86 points for the Flyers. We got 85. The Panthers are like we're tied with Buffalo here. So let's jump into this one. One nothing Buffalo. Tage Thompson shorthanded. That's not good. Caprizov and Appleton come back and Tuck keeps it tied. And then Thompson gets the hat trick to seal us away there. That's not good. That's really going to hurt our playoff chances. Uh, let's go up to this Leafs game here. Back to back against Montreal to finish it. What is that? So we are now three points out with three games to go. I think we're going to miss the playoffs. Come on, beat the Leafs. We beat the Leafs. We are one point out. Okay, Sabres. Please. Like, at least we got a back-to-back -back against Montreal. And now that I say that, we're going to get absolutely clobbered. Oh, my goodness. Steven Lorenz. MVP. Gets us tied on Montembeau, who we did not pick. And then... And they win. In overtime. But we got a point. We got a point. So we are tied with the Senators for that last spot now. Have the Senators played all their games? No. So if we win, we could get 92 points. We need the Panthers or the Senators to lose for us to get in. So we need a big W. That's the only thing we can control here is we need a big W. And what are we doing, guys? What are we doing? This is your playoff hopes. You're just throwing it away like this? Come on, guys. Two goals. Lucas Reichel. Exactly who I would have predicted to get a goal. And Smith ties it up. This fourth line, Tarasenko. Just hold it. Hold it. And Niels Hoglander seals it. Four goals in the third period huge fourth line and we have a chance there is a chance look at that we made the playoffs and the crazy thing is so did the Flyers Panthers, Senators both out before this game they were both in the playoffs they both lost they're both out what a finish Man, that was intense. The Baltic Seabenders are in the playoffs. Kaprizov, 99 points. Plus one. Uh, 42 goals. Tarasenko, 40 goals. Morgan Riley, 67 points. Looking like a Norris Trophy winner. Um, 
Mackenzie Blackwood did not help us to the playoffs, but for some reason had seven wins and three of them were shutouts. Good job simulating EA. Um, John Gibson, solid year. Nothing to complain about there. Cannot complain. Definitely not Connor Hellebuck, but cannot complain about John Gibson's numbers. He finished in the top, what is that, 10 of goalies, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, defenseman Adam Fox is going to win that, but is this our Riley? No, they're Riley. This is our Riley. That's pretty crazy how closely <laughs> the Riley's simulated. Theirs had two more goals. Ours had one more assist. Pretty, pretty nuts. We got all skaters. Marchand ends up winning it. Johnny Goudreau out of nowhere. Nylander Matthews. Nice. There's our Kaprizov. Winning. Uh, Matthews at 54. Ovi beats him. Ovi with the 55. Can you imagine if he got 55 goals this year? That would have been insane because he would be right behind. Um, does this show me his career? Full career stats? Yeah, so he would be right behind Gretzky. He would need like, what is that, 26, 25 goals? 26 to pass him? Something like that. Uh, that would be insane. Uh, he does have 30, but... All right, so are you ready for some playoffs? Let's do this. Who are we playing? I think we're playing the, the, the Leafs. The Leafs or the Hurricanes? Did we get the Leafs? No, we got the Hurricanes. Came in with the exact same record. 6-3-1. and one. Let's simula simulate the first three games here. One, two, three. Actually, we'll just go to the fourth one here. Big win, big win, and a loss. We're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. Can we go to the second round? We take off. We eliminate the top. Who cares about the top? Look at all those upsets. The Blue Jackets knocked out the Rangers? What? Also, the Leafs, I believe, like... I should go back and check because I think they've only lost like over both videos four games and that was the four they got eliminated in or something. Blue Jackets. Second round Blue Jackets. I'm just going to check. What is what was the Blue Jackets regular season record? Regular season. 45, 29, and 8. Okay. Tarasenko. Five goals. Five games. Six total points. Doesn't need assists. He does it all himself. 7-3 win. Look at that. We're up 2-1 again. 2-2. Mm, two, two. Series is getting close. 3-2. Can we take him? Let's just send him home. There we go. Third round. Leafs Lightning going into game 7. And we are playing the Leafs in the third round. Both 8-3. and three. Let's check to see who here is. It's still Tarasenko scoring. Kaprizov, 15 points. It's a team game. Team game. Let's go to the fourth game here. Loss, loss, win. Oh, we're down. We haven't been in this position yet. We're going 3-1. Or 1-3, sorry. Or 2-2. Two 2-2, two. Two two, please. Ooh. On the brink of elimination. What is that other series? Arizona versus Arizona. That's so weird. It's not Arizona versus Arizona, but it's the Jets versus the Jets is what I meant to say. You know what I meant. Um, let's jump in here. So is it going to be Leafs Coyotes in the final? Nah, it can't be. You're going to let Ryan Reeves score on you in the playoffs? Really? In the third round of the playoffs, you're going to let Ryan Reeves be the one with the game-winning goal. GWG Ryan Reeves. That's how you guys want to be known? You have 30 shots. 31. Bury one, please. You're just dominating the Leafs, but Sammy's standing on his head. Come on. Lucas Reichel. Crookshank. 
Any you guys want a history? Or is Ilya Samsonov going to be the one to take it away from you? It looks like that's it. Samsonov with an outstanding performance. John Klingberg from the middle of the ice puts the icing on the cake. Look at that. Ilya Samsonov. Great story. Sucks that we got eliminated, but... You know, after sneaking into the playoffs, I'm even surprised we made it that far. Who's going to win between the Leafs and the Coyotes? Leafs are up 1-0. 1-1. And the Toronto Maple Leafs have won the Stanley Cup against the Arizona Coyotes. Can you imagine playoff games in mullet? That would be the most insane atmosphere. Especially Leafs playoff games, because then you got like Matthew Nyes and Austin Matthews in that small little barn. Intense. Um, Kaprizov, Tarasenko, Kuznetsov, like they did all year. They did great. Kako had a pretty solid one. Steven Lorenz, five goals in the playoffs. Dude's clutch. Dude is clutch. All right, let's check the um, these awards real quick. Do we win any? That's <laughs> such a weird, <laughs> weird thing. Um, the Leafs, oh, those are all team awards. I'm not paying attention. Brad Marchand, Brad Marchand, Adam Fox with the Norris, Panarin with the Lady Bing, Calder went to Bedard, of course. Con Smythe to Matthews, Hellebuck won the Vesna. We did not win an award. That's okay, though. That's okay. We had a pretty solid season. Uh, 99 points from Kaprizov is great. But that's going to do it for the round two. You got any ideas? How I can mix this up. Um, I want to keep going with this this base format until we end up getting the uh, the cup, which that was our closest one yet. But if you have any ideas on, uh, maybe we have to you have to pick a number before something like that. Who knows? But until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you click the uh the link down below check out the bender random player for yourself um man of the rich channel will be in the description as well so make sure you check that out so you can kind of see what he's got going on does fantasy drafts and hockey all the time um yeah other than that click like if you did enjoy the video click subscribe if you want to see more like this and we'll catch you in the next video again soon bye, -bye.